For weeks at the gates of a primary school in Birmingham, there were loud protests claiming teachers were promoting homosexuality. Now pupils working hard inside Anderton Park Primary School aren't disturbed by demonstrations outside. Today, the High Court in Birmingham ruled an injunction stopping the demos at the school gates should be made permanent. What the case has shown is, is the real contrast between what has always happened at Anderton Park and what was being portrayed was happening. Uh, and there was absolutely no uh, promotion of any one type of anything because we can't do that. That goes against uh, equality and against the Equality Act. The judge said that the protests had had an adverse effect on teachers, pupils and local residents and that none of the claims made against the school were true. But those behind the protests say they won't stop and they will appeal the decision. I've never questioned the rights or wrongs of homosexuality and I never will question those uh, rights or wrongs because it's not about that for us. It was about, firstly, we had no consultations and there was no asking of parents, is this age appropriate? Since June, demonstrations have been allowed to continue outside the exclusion zone a few streets away from the school building. Despite today's ruling, the protesters say they will continue to voice their concerns about LGBT issues being taught in school outside of the exclusion zone. They haven't been able to protest here outside the school gates since June. And before that, they were here on a weekly basis. It's quite disturbing for my child because I don't want him coming home and saying, our children, our choice and all that. You know what I mean? The protesters were peaceful and they didn't cause any disruption. Anderson Park Primary has always maintained it's teaching children about equality, something that all schools will be required to do by September next year. But the government says it will be up to teachers to decide how issues of sexuality and relationships are taught. Stacey Foster, ITV News, Birmingham.